what is stock market? It is a marketplace where buyers and sellers meet to trade shares of the company. Let me explain it in simpler terms with an example. Let us assume a vegetable market. There are vendors selling vegetables. We buyers can go and purchase them. Likewise, in share market, we pay money and purchase shares with an intention to make profit. In this slide, we are going to see about who market participants are in stock market. First, I'll tell their names one by one, then I'll explain them. Market participants, stock exchange, issuer company, investors, brokers, bank, depository, depository participants, clearing house and SEBI. What is stock exchange? It provides a platform for investors to buy or sell shares. Stocks are listed in NSE or BSE or both. We can trade the stocks those are listed in stock exchange, national stock exchange or Bombay stock exchange. Both are located in Mumbai. Issuers. Issuers means the companies who registered themselves in stock exchange. They issue their shares to public for raising funds for growth of their company. Types of investors. The retail investor as defined by SEBI, an individual whose application of bid for securities or stocks does not exceed 2 lakhs in an IPO and doesn't hold or buy stocks for a value of more than 2 lakhs. The second being the high net worth individuals or HNIs. The individual investors or institutions who are willing to invest more than 2 lakh are categorized as HNIs, that is high net worth individuals. HNIs cannot invest less than 2 lakhs in an IPO. They are not eligible for any discounts offered by the company. And HNI should receive at least one share lot in oversubscription of IPO. DIIs or the domestic institutional investors who invest in stock markets on behalf of their clients. Some of the examples that we know are LIC, ICICI Prudential, FIIs or the foreign institutional investors who are outside India and invest in our stock market on behalf of their clients. Example are Government of Singapore, Euro Pacific Growth Fund, Stock Brokers. In this slide, I am going to explain about the broker's role in stock market. We can't directly go to stock exchange which is located in Mumbai to buy shares of any company. If this becomes possible, then the stock, stock exchange becomes overcrowded. To avoid this problem, an intermediary person is needed who is the member of stock exchange. That intermediary person is called as a broker. We can put up buy and sell orders through stock exchange through brokers only. Some of the famous stock brokers in India are Zeroda, Angel One, Sher Khan and Upstocks. Role of bank in stock markets. Let me explain this with an example. If you want to buy one Infosys stock whose current market price is 1420, this is as on 16th August 2023. First we have to transfer the money from our bank account to our trading account. Now let's say what's the function of the bank. So bank helps to transfer the money from the requested person's account to his trading account. Now you put your order in the trading account to buy a share of Infosys from stock exchange. After the order execution, money will be debited from the trading person's account and the share will be transferred to his trading account. After two days, automatically shares in his trading account will be transferred to his DMAT account. Depositories. It is the place where all the transaction related information are stored. They interact with the clients through DPs, that is depository participants also called as stockbrokers. Let us consider an example here. Let's assume Ram buys 10 shares of Infosys and Sam sells 10 shares of Infosys. So these informations are stored in depositories and share certificates in electronic format. So what are the depositories in India? It is NSDL and CDSL. NSDL stands for National Securities Depository Limited and CDSL stands for Central Depository Services Limited. If you buy a property the only way to claim the ownership is through the property documents. Likewise, if you buy a share, the only way to claim the ownership is share certificates. Depositories provide share certificate in electronic form. Depository participants, you cannot directly go to NSDL or CDSL to open DMAT accounts. Only through depository participants, we can open DMAT account. Example, Zerota. Clearing house. There are two famous clearing houses in stock markets. They are NSCC which stands for National Securities Clearing Corporation 
ICCL, Indian Clearing Corporation Limited. For NSC, NSCC acts as a clearing house. For BSC, ICCL acts as a clearing house. Role of clearing house. Let me explain in simple terms by using an example. Let's assume Ram buys a share of Infosys and Sam sells a share of Infosys. Shares will be credited to Ram's account and money will be credited to Sam's account. This function is done by the clearing house. It ensures guaranteed settlement of trade. SEBI, which stands for Securities and Exchange Board of India. The role of SEBI, it actually regulates the stock market. It protects the investors by preventing the malpractices in the stock market, such as manipulation of stock prices, insider trading. Now let's see why a company comes into stock market. The main purpose a company enters the stock market is to raise capital for the growth of the company. Now let's take an example. Let's assume a company A and it wants to open many branches. So they don't have sufficient money. They have three options in front of them. The first option is to approach the bank and ask for a loan. If the company runs on loan, the company has to pay huge interest whether they make profits or loss. The second option is they may ask their friends or families. But in that case, the friend or family member would become a partner in the business. The third option is to list the company in the stock exchange and issue IPO. How a company is benefited from stock market? In primary market, the company issues shares through IPO, that is initial public offering and get money from the public or investors. Now let's see how investors are benefited through stock market. In secondary market, example the NSE, BSE investors sell shares to another investor and make profit. And also sometimes the company also rewards them through their corporate actions, that is through split, bonus, rights and dividends. Now let's consider this example. Let's assume we buy Infosys share on June 1st, 1999 at 12 rupees. And now the price of Infosys stock as on date, that is 16th August 2023, is 14, 20 rupees. You get 118 times return plus bonus and dividend, etc. Without including bonus and dividend, if you invest 1 lakh rupees on 1999, you get 1 crore 18 lakhs. If you include dividend and bonus, it exceeds 100 crores. If you want to participate in stock market, you need to open a DMAT account. Below mentioned items are required to open a DMAT account. Aadhaar card, PAN card, bank account, cancel checks, mobile. So as a beginner, what are the do's and don'ts that we need to follow before starting to invest? So we need to learn the fundamental analysis and technical analysis properly. Do not buy or sell in future and option segment. And do paper trading, which means you buy a stock and note down its price and then sell it when the price goes up and do it vice versa and follow this for at least for a year. The reason for enforcing the above three points is do not put your real money into share market before getting confidence.